Hey there everyone, we're on Frontline Animal Removal. I'm going to show you a couple weird chimneys and what I'm going to do to solve them. Here's chimney number one. Now why there's a cinder block mortar to the top, I don't know. I'm assuming it's blocking a flue pipe, but I don't know. So we got one, two, three flue pipes here. And we got raccoons going down there. How do I know that there's raccoons going down there? Because I got raccoon fur right here, noise down below. It's a nice little setup for the raccoons. And the problem is, down at the bottom of the chimneys, I can't see uh, where the raccoons go because all these chimney liners, they take turns or they have bends in them. So we can't see to the bottom. So I have a unique solution that I'll show you in a little bit. So I have a multi flue cap here that I have to assemble and put on. Let's go check out the other chimney. And here, we're at the other chimney with the other cap. This cap is installed, except I did not screw the top on. So it'll lift right off. And if we look inside, we got one, two, three, four. And all four of these flue pipes have raccoons going down. So you might be wondering why did I not attach the top? Well, I can't fit chimney traps in all those liners. So I'm going to mount a trap on top of here. So once I get done installing the cap down there, I'm gonna set a trap on top of here and a trap on top of there. And we're gonna give it 48 hours. And if in 48 hours, I have had nothing enter the trap, I can assume that the chimneys are free of raccoons down there and there and then I can finish it up putting the tops on. Um, is it important to catch the raccoon? It's nice because I make a little more dough if I catch it but it's not that important. The important thing is to make sure there's nothing inside of there that will create problems if we close them in. And if the raccoons are outside when I put the caps on that's fine. We solved the problem. So, in a few moments, I'll have this one assembled. Okay, an update on how I'm trapping this chimney. So, you can see it's it's really crazy looking. But look right here. There's a hole cut in the plywood. So, if we have a raccoon in any of these flue pipes, he can crawl up inside of this cage. So I took that top off. He can climb up into this hole and he can enter the trap. Now what I did is I have this door closed. So we have a fully enclosed containment system here. And then the trick wi trip wires are sitting right here. So Mr. Raccoon just has to come up here, set the trap off, um, and we got all under control. Now what's great about this setup is if the raccoon's outside of the chimney and he shows up well he's not going to get in he is excluded it's an exclusionary trap it's a uh, a good setup now it's completely screwball and it's being used in a way that this trap had never uh was intended to use but that's what's great about these double door comstock traps you can use them sideways, upside down. You can mount them to boards and mount them onto weird things. And they'll do just about anything you want. So I love these traps. They work great. You could use other styles of traps. But these are highly effective. And it's a cool setup. So 48 hours, if nothing's caught, lid goes on. And if something's caught, I get a bonus. This is how we're preventing trapping an, anim at an animal in the flue pipe. 